Hi, we will see how we can store the data into the flash so that even after the power is off for the microcontroller, we can save our last status in the flash. And when we power on the microcontroller, it will read the status back from the flash and it will start the operation from that point. To demonstrate this, I will be using three LEDs where I will be storing the last status of the LED before the power is cut off. For demonstration, I will be using one STM32 board. Let's create a project in STM32 cube ID. Select the board. I am using one F401RE Nucleo board. Give the project name. Click next and then finish. Let the cube ID do the auto configuration for the peripherals. Mark the outputs for our LED. So I have connected PA8 to yellow so I will mark it as yellow LED then 9 I have connected to green so I will mark it as green LED and this P10 I have connected to red so I will mark it as red LED so that's all for this now we save it and generate the code Okay, one more thing we need to do is configure the button for interrupt. So we have a push button, this B1, and we have to configure an interrupt for it. So let's go for the interrupt. In GPIO, go for NVIC, enable the interrupt, and save it. Now go to the interrupt handler. So here you can see this code has been generated for the interrupt handler. We will go to this interrupt handler part and there is a weak function that is all GPIO external callback. So I will write a code for this count less than three count plus plus else count equals to zero so we need to declare a variable count okay now in the while loop let's write the code we take a switch statement case one so here we will toggle the first LED we have to write GPIO A GPIO or green LED pin pin state will say one Similarly, for we'll turn off all other LEDs and yellow. So let's save the code, compile it. Okay, so there is no issue. We'll download the code and see. So now let's debug the code. I have connected STM32 board to the laptop. Let's debug it. Create the debug configuration. I will be using the onboard debugger on the ST-Link.
so the code is downloaded let's start the debugging debugging so if i press it you can see one by one the leds are turning on okay so if i keep the blue green led on and cut off the power and again connect it back still it will go back to its original state where no led is on so if i again press it will again start from the beginning okay now let's write the code to store the last status of the led in the flash and when we power it back on it should start from the last state for that we need to store it into the flash and we need to understand the flash layout so the flash is being divided into seven sectors for this microcontroller so we will be using the sixth sector to store our data first define the starting address of that sector Now let's add the function to store the data. To store the data, we have to follow certain step. First step, erase, erase the memory location. Then write the data and finally retrieve the data. Okay, in order to save time, I have already copied the code here. So let me explain how the erasing of a flash happens. To erase a flash, we will be using this whole API, which requires one configuration structure and one status uh, variable. So we have given both of them. So the configuration structure has been filled here. If you go to this type def, you can see what all the elements there in the configuration structure. So now we need to initialize this configuration data with the requirement of our microcontroller in order to erase that sector. So I am first giving the type erase as a sector erase. Then this plan depend upon the type of microcontroller you are using. Number of sectors which I want to erase is only one and the sector from where I want to start the erase is sector six. So the same address I have given there. Then the this is the voltage range at which the erase will happen. So it, you have to check it. So based on that, you have to give the voltage range. For voltage range, I have currently selected as 3.3 volt for erasing. You can select that also. Then first we need to unlock the flash in order to start the erase. Then this API will start the process. And after the erase is complete, we have to lock the flash. And if there is some issue in the erase process, you can see what is the fault code here. So this is how the erase process happens. Now let's move to the write data. So this API will be using to write the data into the flash. So after the erase has been done, then we again unlock the flash. Then we call this API whole flash erase program in order to write the data into the flash. So we are using byte operation to write the data. So we are giving it byte. Then this is the starting address, the address of the sector six from where we want to start writing it. Currently we have defined it as 0x80400 and the data which we want to write. This has to be a byte type data. After the write is complete, we are again locking the flash. So at the power on, we want to retrieve the data that is stored in the flash. So first we will go in the memory location. So here the location is not flashing address, it is address only. And from there, I will be taking whatever data is available at that location. So this location here, which we have defined in the macro. So if you go there in this location, we will check what is the available data. So if that data is somewhere a uh, garbage value, then we ignore it and we assign the count as three, which means a default and all LEDs will be off. But if it is some value is in between zero and four, then we assign what is there in the count. So this all APIs we will be using in order to write the data into the flash and read the data from the flash. So let's define the APIs one by one. 
so let's open dot h file where we will be giving the declaration Okay, as the declaration is complete, let's save the data after every five seconds in the flash memory. So for that, let's write a small logic. I will first check what is the logic of delay. See here, there is a comparison happening between the total ticks that have passed. So I will be using the same thing. So I will declare start tick. Let's give it five seconds. Okay, I have defined tick here also. First erase, then write data, and then we want to reinitialize the ticks. That's it. So it will save it. Then we have to write a small logic in order to retrieve it. So we just call this retrieve at the beginning of our function. So one thing we need to correct here. So we only want to wait up to five seconds so it should always greater than and it should trigger and in write data we should pass the data which we want to save in the flash so we want to save count in the flash that's it so save it then build it it is giving some error Okay, we have given void. Again, build it. So, okay, no error. And we flash it. So the flash is complete. Now let's check our logic. So I am toggling the LEDs. So last LED is yellow. Let's give it five seconds. Now let's power it off and power it on. See, it's starting from yellow now. Now again, if I toggle it back to uh, green, wait for five seconds and then plug it out and plug it in it will start from green so our last status will always be recorded so now red so after five seconds i'm plugging it out plugging it in so red is recorded so that's all about it thank you